Looking outside this morning, I cannot believe that it's pouring down rain again. This is just unheard of for Southern California for it to be raining this much. I mean, I kind of love it, but I also like had some things to get done today and now I'm just kind of like, eh. Boys, do you believe this? You don't? Me neither, I can't believe it. Should we stay in today, you think? Oh, we should, huh? <laughs> oh, my baby. I mean, if you can start your day off with Jonathan Van Ness's Instagram stories of him learning to figure skate, are you even living? This is just everything. I've been watching these every day. It's so inspirational. I'm so proud of him. And I just love him. <laughs> yes. Look at that attitude. Wouldn't expect anything less. So it's still storming. There was actually a flash flood warning. It just came on the phone, which is why Buki is like so alert. <laughs> It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. And we've lit a candle, it's like dark in here, it feels like it's freaking 4.30. <sighs> Update, it's still raining, but I really have so much that I wanna get done today, so I was like, listen, I'm gonna get myself in the bathroom, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna get ready, and then I'm gonna go do my errands and such because I just cannot have a lazy day today. I can't afford it. Right, boys? <laughs> but before I head out, I would like to give a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Function of Beauty. So Function of Beauty is a hair care company that specializes in fully personalized hair care products because they have a philosophy that, you know, hair care is not one size fits all because we all have different hair types and different hair goals. And I completely agree. So how does it work? Well, first it starts with a quick and easy hair quiz. You basically just tell them your hair type, your hair structure, the moisture level of your scalp, and then you select up to five hair goals or what you're expecting your hair care to um, help you achieve. I personally chose deep condition, shine, nourish roots, hydrate, and soothe scalp. Next, you get to personalize the look of your items. You can add your name to the bottles, change the color of the product, and even add your own fragrance. Then the last step is just choosing the size of your bottles and how often you'd like to receive them. So this is how it comes in this cute little box with an F on it, and then it also says function of Kalel right on the side, which I thought was very cool. Then you open it up, it has a little message, get pumped, which is adorable, because <laughs> it comes with two pumps for your bottles. Uh, and then there's also this little card that says, again, function of Kalel and everything that you chose for your hair type, some little information, and also the ingredients on the back, which is nice. And then look at these. How cool is this that the actual bottle says your name on it? I love that. And then as far as performance goes, I did use them today when I got ready. So I think my hair kind of speaks for itself. I think it looks very soft and pretty. It smells so good i opted for the pineapple scent and i literally felt like i was in hawaii when i was shampooing my hair this morning it was so nice um and also what i really love about them is that it's the products are clean meaning there's no like sulfates parabens gmos toxins that kind of thing um you know basically everything that's in mainstream hair care <laughs> so that is definitely a huge bonus as well so if you'd be interested in giving function of beauty a try i do have a special discount for you guys the first 500 people to click my special link in the description will receive 20 percent off of their entire order if you listen really closely you can actually hear the trees rejoicing <laughs> The trees have not seen this much water in forever. Like most of them are brown and crispy, drying up. So this is like actually really amazing for the trees. So I just had a quick meeting with my accountant and I had to get my glasses that I had left there. And I left these there for like a month. So I haven't had them, I've been so sad, but I ended up buying a new pair because logic right i don't know i was too lazy to come here and get them and i really really needed my glasses so just one day like on an impulse i bought these 
what do you guys think? I mean, these are very, need to be cleaned, but I love, I love them like even more than my Tom Ford ones, which I thought were like my everydays, but now I feel like these are my everydays. How cute are those? What do you guys think? Which ones are better? They're both super, super, super dirty. These I just like because they're really bold. But definitely I think the new ones. Does anybody else, this is so terrible, but does anybody else like their vision is not very good distance so they'll like hold their phone to know when to turn next? <laughs> it's terrible, but I do that. But anyway, so for the rest of the day today, I just have miscellaneous errands. I have a bunch of returns from stuff that I impulsively bought on Cyber Monday that I just decided I don't need or like I'm not in love with. Lately in life, anytime I buy something, I'm like, am I absolutely obsessed with this? Like, do I get excited just thinking about this, touching this, having this? If not, I don't need it. So, <sighs> I'm going to return some things <laughs> and then I'm going to charge my car and while my car charges I need to go to the pet store and we'll talk about why in a minute. Also I just want to say right now on the radio the new Panic at the Disco song is playing. You guys know this song? So I was an original diehard Panic at the Disco fan. Went to their very first show, what year? 2006? 2006. Um, it was amazing, I was obsessed. I was convinced that Brendan Yuri was the most talented man on the planet. I was so in love with him. I mean, I still am, let's be real, but. Um, what's crazy to me is how they're just now really going mainstream. Like, they were mainstream in the emo world in the 2000s, but, like, then they kind of really... They never hit mainstream, like, pop radio, besides I Write Since Not Tragedies. Um, and it amazes me that, like, this song is what people like. Like, I'm like, really? Because he has probably about 20 other songs that are so much better than this. I don't know why people are like are into this, but that's also how I feel about Drake. Like I was a huge, huge, huge Drake fan starting in like 2007, 2008. And I don't really like his new stuff, but I think his old stuff is absolutely amazing. So I don't really get mainstream. I don't like, I realized I was just talking about things that I don't need, but I mean, since we're here and there just happens to be a Bath and Body Works that has a huge white barn inside of it, I mean, how can I not? But the fire um, is yes, so delightful. Yes, yes. Since we've no place to nothing go. but candles. Just a few things, just a few things. <laughs> I love how the lyric was just like, I hate going out in the storm. And it's like, yeah. I mean, it's actually not raining anymore, which is great. But to the pet store. This is literally Boogie's favorite thing ever, next to a Ziploc bag. She loves Ziploc bags, don't ask me why. Um, definitely gonna get one of these. Oh my God, should I get this for when Boogie's bad? <laughs> my god when would you ever need to put this on your cat this is supposed to create a calming effect that's definitely interesting maybe when you're taking them to the vet oh yeah ideal for grooming this seems so mean oh my gosh i could never put that on pookie <laughs> she totally deserves it sometimes though oh my gosh also these are the best Bookie goes wild for this. I remember when she was a baby, she would actually drop this at my feet and want me to play fetch with her so bad. It was so cute. <laughs> Definitely gonna get one of these. So maybe I will do a little uh, mini car haul. I only got three things. Okay, I didn't go crazy. I went in there because I really, really like white barn candles. I don't really buy the Bath & Body Works branded candles because it's just a little bit too like glitzy, decorative. I like the really simple packaging. So I found one. I thought I was gonna find like a million. I got really excited. I was like, oh my God, they're gonna have so many, but they didn't really have that many. This is the one I got. It's pistachio ice cream. I really liked the design. 
Um, it matches my apartment, <laughs> but the smell is actually really, really good. I love the smell of pistachio. Mm. To me, it smells like a pistachio macaron cookie. And then two other random things that I got. Wow, I'm like not even, <laughs> not even in the shot right now. I got a, a pillow spray. This is patchouli and vanilla, which are two of my favorite scents. So I thought I will definitely like this to spray on my sheets at night. And then one last thing I got is a sleep bubble bath. Um, yeah, and then the cat stuff. I pretty much showed you guys what I got. This. <laughs> and this other little toy that's kind of interesting. That was like, it's always the cheap little crappy toys that cats like the most, you know what I mean? So I found this one, where is it? This thing, this is like so random, but it, um, I don't think I can do it with one hand. Here we go. You like push it down. You see, it's like this. <laughs> and then it springs. I'm like, Buki is gonna die. Um, but plot twist, I didn't actually get these things for Buki. I got them for a new baby that's coming. I This is still really surreal to me. I cannot believe I'm actually going through with this. It kind of started off as like, I was just playing around and then it became more and more real. Um, so, since I moved out on my own, um, Let's let's do a, a full recap because not everybody watches every single video and knows my situation. So, um, I had another cat that I had adopted named Chibi. Uh, I ended up getting him not because I was looking for another cat because at the time I had two cats. This is like so complicated. I had two cats. One was mine. One I got with my boyfriend at the time, right? Uh, and then I found Chibi. He was literally on his deathbed. He was not being taken care of, and I thought if I leave this cat here, he's going to die within like 24 hours. So being the person I am, I had to save him, right? So I took him with me, and then I had three cats. Then me and that boyfriend broke up, and he kept the cat that we got together, uh, which was also a Savannah, just like Buki. And uh, I took Buki and Chibi with me. Now, in the beginning, when Chibi was really young, they got along fine, but then at about, like, I guess maturity, really, like, once Chibi became, like, two years old, Buki just started beating the shit out of him every single day, like, pinning him down, biting his neck really hard until he, like, screamed out, just like, you know, when an animal's in pain, you can just tell, like, that's not, like, a noise that you want to be hearing. Uh, it got really bad, and... It, like they couldn't be in the same room. It was just like they were constantly fighting and when you live in an apartment It's really cruel to keep two animals together that aren't getting along So when I broke up with my last boyfriend, he said that he wanted to take Chibi. So I was like perfect I have to split them up anyway. So this is like best case scenario for us um now Buki has been alone for the past you know however many months five months six months and she's so 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 sad like she just does these meows which are like like crying out i don't know if she misses chibi she wants to kick his ass again <laughs> like what the situation is like i mean she did not like him they did not get along there was no affection between those cats so i think she's just bored She's such an intelligent cat that she's so bored and I'm like, what do I do? Do I get another cat and risk her also just beating the shit out of it and me having to find it a new home and like going through the whole process again of like getting attached to a cat and then having to give it away? Um, I don't want to do that. So I was thinking back and I almost think the issue with Chibi was that he was just like a normal domestic cat because Buki is a hybrid cat, meaning she's part wild. She's not domesticated, which is why she is the way she is. She's very aggressive. Um, she's like a hunter. She's just very, very aggressive, um, very dominant. It's her way or the highway. That's like her attitude, right? Um, and when, when I had the other Savannah with my 
old boyfriend, those cats got along absolutely great. Cuddled, loved each other, played, like there was no problems. So I'm kind of like, I feel like the only way she's gonna accept another cat is if it's also a hybrid. So yes, I'm getting another Savannah cat. A girl this time. I also think that was part of the problem. Why do I always get boy cats? No, we there, no no more penis in my apartment. Okay, this is like pussy power only. Three girls. We're gonna kill it. <laughs> We're gonna have our own crew. Um, I'm really excited. So her name is. Should I tell you guys her name? I mean, I'm gonna change it. It's gonna have. She's gonna have a thousand names. Let's let's face it. But her name as of right now is Rini Chan. Bukisan, Rini Chan. Um, obviously also a Japanese name. I always name my pets Japanese names. I don't know why. I love Japanese culture and stuff. But um, yeah, so Rini Chan, Bukisan, Kalel. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited. Uh, I know that people are going to be mad that I'm getting a cat from a breeder. I feel you. I know. I'm kind of mad at me too, but. I'm just doing like what I feel like I have to do to make both the new cat happy and Buki happy and me happy to not have to, to deal with breaking up cats that want to kill each other. I don't know. I just I just think in general uh, domesticated cats are too domestic to be living with a hybrid cat. And I already have Buki. I can't really press undo on that. So you know, I gotta just get her a companion that can keep up with her crazy ass because she is just really an intense cat. Like, she's just not the same. I've had four normal domesticated house cats in my life before and Buki is nothing like them. She's just, she's more like a dog. She's honestly more like a dog than a cat. So I hope the situation works out. I don't really know if it will, but I'm very excited. If it doesn't work out, I will be asking one of you guys to come adopt Rini Chan. So you might be hoping it doesn't work out. <laughs> She's very cute. I'm gonna wait and show you guys her when she actually gets here. She will be here at the end of the month. Um, I think uh, December 29th. So I finished all of my errands, thank God. And my battery made it to 10 miles and now I made it to the charging station. I'm charging my car. Does anyone else feel like this year more than any other year daylight saving time has been like extra depressing? Just like extra depressing. Like it's five o'clock, it's pitch black outside, it's raining. I'm just like ready to go to bed. I just hate that. I hate that at five o'clock my brain is like, okay, I wanna go to I wanna eat and I wanna go to sleep right now. No, what? Um, but you know, anyway. I'm just bored and rambling because I have to sit here for an hour while my car charges. <laughs> Sorry, this has been like a really boring day, mm -hmm. a really super lazy day, nothing happened. Um, just kind of wanted to get some things done and I thought I would bring you guys along with me. This is like my version of Vlogmas. <laughs> I don't really do Vlogmas because my life is kind of boring, but um, I just thought I would vlog every week in December just to kind of you know do what everyone else is doing I have to say um, the other night I actually kind of got into a uh, like fell down a rabbit hole of watching old videos of mine that somebody had re-uploaded oh, gosh I hate when people do that so much but like I get it and I'm not like mad at them by any means but I just hate it um, but anyway I started watching them and I realized like how much happier I used to be and how I would be around people. I was like so much fun and always laughing and making jokes and like, I'm like, yeah, I feel like I need other human beings in my videos. <laughs> I feel like it brings out a much better side of me. Um, you know, I kind of miss that. So maybe next year, maybe next year we'll, there'll be some more of that. I almost feel like, like, part of me, a li little part of me almost wants like a YouTube boyfriend again. You know, because I had one and then the two after that were normal nine to five jobs, you know, that the normal human being situation. <laughs> um, 
and I feel like I kind of want a YouTube boyfriend again, but are there any straight, cute YouTube boys that are like in their late 20s? Do, do you guys know of any? Let me know. Um, introduce me. I mean, I'm not really looking for a boyfriend right now, but you know, maybe like we could go on a few dates or something. I, f I just miss having that kind of like partner in crime to do videos together because my past two boyfriends, they were kind of like indifferent about being on camera. They didn't hate it, they didn't love it. And I just kind of ultimately felt like I didn't want to put the camera in their face, so I just didn't. But I really miss like, you know, watching videos of me and my ex together and like how much fun we had just like messing around and making videos together. Like I kind of want that again, just for like a little bit. You know, I don't know, maybe. It's weird like even thinking about dating. You know, I've been single for about six months now, right? Mm, maybe, maybe five, five. I don't really know exactly when we broke up, but um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked with this guy backing his car out. Um, but I've been thinking about it lately. I'm like, am I ready? Am I ready to just kind of like, nothing serious. Like I don't want to settle down with anyone, but am I ready to go like just on a date to kind of like feel something you know what I mean like feel alive like meet someone new just kind of like have fun connecting with another guy do I want to do that definitely probably at some point next year but I just don't know when but anyway me so I just watched that clip back and realized that there's all of these dots across my face because of the rain and it looked so crazy but just so you guys know, I'm not, I'm not speckled. <laughs> so I just got home and when I was in the elevator, I had my bag of cat stuff and a guy got in the elevator and he was like, oh, you went shopping, what'd you get? Get something good, da, da, da. And I'm like, oh, I just got some stuff for my kitten that I'm getting. He's like, oh, uh, what kind? I'm like, oh, Savannah. And then like, as he's walking out of the elevator, he's like, Oh, I'll have to come see it. Like, yeah, definitely. I don't know you at all, but sure. Please? Did you miss me, honey? She's already spotted the toys, and even though they are for Rini Chan, um, obviously, I'm gonna play with them with Boogie. Because really, they always say when you get a new cat, you should focus more on your previous cats because they are really stressed out when you bring a foreign invader. <laughs> and I know, because I know how Buki is, she does not want to share me. I think that's a big part of the problem. Rooney-chan, you're going to have to be nice to, okay? Because it's either you be nice to Rooney-chan or you're lonely. Which is it going to be? Which is it gonna be? Rainy Chan or Lonely Mama? All right, let's see what she thinks of this thing. Boys, what do you make of this? This looks like a hot Cheeto. Oh, we like that. But what do we think about this? Oh. <laughs> oh, get him, mama. Can you jump? Buki used to jump so high in her younger years. Now she's like a fat grandma. <laughs> she can't get up like she used to. She used to go all the way up the wall really high. Let's see how high she can go. Boys, show him. Show him you still got it. She's walking away like, um, I'm good. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that was a good effort. <laughs> what do we think about this? We like that? Oh, yes, we liked it. Hmm? Ready? Ready? Get it, boys. What is that? She loved this so much when she was a baby. She would literally just drop it at my feet all day and cry because she wanted me to throw it. Like a little puppy. You were like a little puppy. Well guys, I am gonna call it a night. It has been what feels like a long day, but really it, it wasn't a long day. I think it's just like the weather and the rain, just all of it, I don't know. It just made me just not feel like, I don't know. 
Hi boys, look, look at her. Have you ever seen a cat look more like a diva than this? Buki. Abuki. Why are you up there? <sighs> but anyway, uh, my battery's dying, so I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you guys really, really soon. Thanks for hanging out.